Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Amanda. I post weekly videos on lifestyle, DIY, motherhood and a little bit of everything really. So if that's your vibe, do hit the subscribe button somewhere down here. I love to have you on board and love to have you as part of my YouTube family. So today's video, as you can see, I'm in my kitchen. So I've just got back from dropping little Oakley off for nursery and I popped into Aldi to pick up some, you know, to pick up really a bag of shopping, like a couple of essentials. And I actually went into Aldi also to pick up one item, I've been very good, one item from the middle aisle, which is much needed in our household. So I'll show you that at the end. I also popped into Tesco to pick up a couple of items from there as well. Because I had a bit of time on my hands, I went to both stores and they're both quite close to each other. I'm first gonna show you what I got from Tesco, then I'm gonna show you the items that I got from Aldi. Also, I'm gonna incorporate a small meal plan for the week, which I've got on my fridge magnet over here. I'll show you that as well. Um, from using some of these items that I picked up and then some items that we've already got. So if you'd like to see what I picked up in both Tesco and Aldi, please keep watching. Okay, so the first item that I'm gonna show you, which I picked up in Tesco. So this is the spinach, mango, kiwi and kale smoothie mix. So this comes in at two pounds and you get 500 grams. It's absolutely amazing. You just pop it into the Nutribullet and then I'll add some coconut water to it as well and just blend it all up together. Absolutely delicious. Okay, so next up from Tesco and it's the nice or nice biscuits as some people will call them. Um, you get 200 gram biscuits here and these come in at just 45p, absolutely brilliant. Okay, so next up from Tesco, we get these mini beef pasty pies. They're absolutely delicious as well. They go very well with salad, you know, salad on the side or a little bit of coleslaw. And we would just have this at lunchtime. Oakley absolutely loves them, you know, just a snack on them with a little bit of cucumber as well. You should get 10 mini pasties and these come in at £1.75. This is one of the items that I just purely go into Tesco for. I haven't actually seen this in no other supermarket and it's this jam. I normally get this in an aisle in Tesco where they have all these lovely foods from different parts of the world. And this one is sour cherry jam. It's got like a light sweetness to it and a little bit of sourness to it, but only a little tiny bit. And you're getting that real cherry in this jam. This comes in at £1.70. Just pop it here so you can get to see in case you wanna pop into Tesco and buy this for yourself, it's absolutely delicious. Okay, so next up from Tesco, I picked up these two boxes of, and these are the Starbucks instant coffee mixes. So this is the caramel latte one, and then you got the cappuccino one there as well. So you get five sachets of each in each box um, to make up a lovely cappuccino with, a Starbucks style one. Yeah, so these are £2.69, and with the Tesco club card, they got reduced down to £2. So I've got those, brilliant. Okay, so next up I've got some whole milk. Yeah, so this comes in standard one pound nine pence for four pints, so got that as well. I also picked up two bags of conference pears. Now these were, I'm just gonna check the receipt actually. So these were originally one pound 60, 81 pence off, so they're 79p for each bag. So you get, I think, five or six pears in there for 79p. Okay, so the next two items is something that I always go into Tesco for. Again, I have tried the Aldi one, which I do absolutely love as well, but the Tesco finest one just really, I don't know, it just really just ticks the box for me. Got the horseradish sauce and the tartar sauce, and these come in at £1.70 each. Um, £1.70 each for 175 grams. So I got those, and I also like the jars on these, you know. I've been collecting these jars, I like to do put spices in and stuff. Absolutely gorgeous, just like a plain, glass jar with a silver lid. Really nice to repurpose as well, so I've got those. I also picked up some Costa Coffee um, refills for our Tesamo machine here. This is the Americano, which hubby likes. I don't actually like Americano. If I have Americano, I would add milk to it. I just find it too strong, you know, but hubby likes it. We've got the machine, so I just picked this up as well. Yeah, so this comes in at 3 99 for 16 capsules. I also got this Nescafe Gold Blend Coffee. It's quite a large one. This is 200 gram bottle. This was on offer with the Tesco Club card. It went down from, I think, six pounds down to four pounds. So I got this and I absolutely love this instant coffee, the Gold Blend one. They also had the, you know, Tesco, they have a whole range, you know, it's a big supermarket. But they also had this in the decaf one and I was very, 
much sway in whether to get the decaf one or to get this one. I know my husband actually likes this one as well, so I thought I'll just get this one and then we can both use it. You know, it's quite a big bottle. And hopefully we're gonna be coming out of lockdown so we can have like, you know, I don't know how many people round for coffee. Can't wait for that time to come just to sit down and be relaxed and have a nice coffee and a slice of cake, you know? Okay, so just a couple of more items from Tesco, then I'll show you what I got from Aldi. So this is an item that we get from Tesco as well. This, these are roasted turkey slices and they're absolutely delicious. They've got like a little bit of seasoning on them as well, like mixed herbs or oregano, something on them that just makes it so much tasty. And this comes in at £2.10 and you get 150 grams. Really nice those are. I would definitely recommend these. I also got this large mega box, one kilo of crunchy nut cornflakes. We absolutely love this. We all have this, you know, so... To get a big box was really worthwhile. This was four pounds. I also got these ambrosia custard pots. I absolutely love ambrosia custards and I think it's one of the best, you know. I have tried Tesco's own brand, which is, it's okay. And I've also tried some other supermarkets own brands as well, but you can't beat ambrosia. So I've got this to go with my apple and blackberry desserts from Aldi. Oh my goodness, these are so nice with custard oh my goodness so delicious so i've got these and these were one pound fifty okay so that's all from tesco now i'm going to jump to aldi so you just saw these so apple and blackberry crumbles these are so delicious these come in at just one pound 49 absolutely amazing so good for a quick dessert with that custard as well oh my goodness delicious I also picked up some cooked prawn these are two pound 69 and you get um, 180 grams I also got some chicken legs. These are £1.69. You get four or five chicken legs in the box. These coming at £1.69. So I've got this to make up, um, to do like a Nando's kind of style chicken with or to do like a roast with. But I will show you my meal plan at the end of this video. So pineapples, this came in at 69p. This was on offer in Aldi at the time when I purchased it. Normally I think they're about 89p in Aldi. So really good as well. We absolutely love pineapple picked up a bunch of daffodils these came in at 95p i think most of the supermarkets are doing these at the same price these ones are slightly opened already absolutely gorgeous i also picked up a bag of bistro salad um this comes in at i think 89p i also picked up a bag of mixed peppers and um, mixed peppers goes into most of my recipes so this came in at one pound 19 also picked up two boxes of mango juice. We absolutely love the mango juice in Aldi. It comes in at just 89p. It's not too sweet, it's not too sour. It's just the perfect blend. It's actually apple and mango juice, not from concentrate. So I got two of those. I also picked up two bags of rice cakes for Oakley. These are 45p in Aldi and they're absolutely delicious. You know, got those. Okay, so we are sort of cutting down on eating bread, you know, eating bread, but that can be quite difficult in our household, you know, and we're Caribbean, Mediterranean, so we do like our bread, you know. We actually like these Italian paninis. They're really good because you can actually freeze them as well. So with these, we'll just use it as like regular bread. We can do so much with these, you know. You can do like uh, meatballs, like a Subway kind of style meatball sandwich. You can just toast them and have avocado on it, you know, which I normally do have. So yeah, you can do so much with these panini breads. And I find that when we buy these, we're not actually wasting it. It all gets eaten up rather than buying the sliced bread. So this is our new go-to anyways. So you get four panini rolls in there and these are 99p. Yeah, so you can't go to Aldi without picking up avocado. I think Aldi does the best avocados, you know. This is a twin pack of avocado and this comes in at £1.15. So I also picked up this large packet of crisps. Yeah, these are called cheese quails, but they're very similar to um, quavers, you know. So little Oakley likes to have these and these come in at 85p and you get 10 bags, 10 bags of crisps in here, guys, yeah, for 85p. That's just absolutely amazing. And these are also low in calorie as well. Nice as a little snack. Sometimes I will put one in my bag when I'm just going down to shopping or going down to pick Oakley up from nursery or you know, if I'm just on the go, I'll just have one of these in my bag as well. So yeah, 85p for 10 bags of crisps. Amazing. 
I also got some broccoli. This came in at 47p. Now, we absolutely love Aldi's vegetables. I just find they last so much longer in the fridge. I don't know why that is, but anytime we buy like Aldi's vegetables, especially broccoli, this can last like up to a week or so, even longer in the fridge without even turning bad, you know? So we've got that as well. Okay, so Aldi normally get their new stock in on a Thursday and a Sunday. So today is Thursday, the 11th of March. So, so this is what I went into Aldi to get from the middle aisle. And it's this item here. It's a three-in-one blender, a three-in-one hand blender. Now our hand blender, which I've had for many, many years, has just recently broken down on us. When I make my soup, I like to use the hand blender to just, you know, put it in the pot and just like get it all nice and smooth. So it's been like, this is gonna be a complete game changer having one of these back in our lives, you know? What I've had to do is pour the soup content into the Nutribullet and then blend it all up and then pull it back into the pot. That's all long, that's all long, you know? Now that I've got this, I can just use the hand blender, put it into the actual pot and then just do how I was doing before with my other one. I'm just so happy with this, you know? So I'm gonna take it out of the box and show you guys. Okay, so that's the main bit there, it looks very high end. It also comes with this chopping container, this whisk, and then this container which has got measurements on it where you can actually just store your smoothie in. And of course it comes with instructions as well. So you get all of this for £14.99 in Aldi, absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna get my meal plan out from my fridge here and show you what our meal plan is for this week. So here it is here. Yes, yeah, so on Monday we tend to have a light dinner because like we normally do like a roast on the Sunday. So whatever's left over, if it's a roast chicken, we will tend to do like a chicken pasta. So I've written down chicken pasta. So that will be a chicken pasta packed with vegetables and also like green pesto sauce. So that's what we'll have on Monday. Tuesday we'll have a vegetarian meal. So we we'll probably do like a vegetable curry or just roasted vegetables with couscous and then a bit of salad. On Wednesday I'll do prawn noodles using the um, prawns from Aldi and also ready to wok noodles also from Aldi. And then that will be jam packed with vegetables as well. Thursday we've got a Thai green and chicken curry with rice and vegetables. Yeah, so on a Friday, we normally have something fishy. So I'll do like salmon with mashed potatoes or fish and chips, but always something fishy on Friday. Saturday, we'll tend to have something light like a jacket potato or, you know, just something that I can just put into the oven like a pizza. Yeah, so Sunday, we'll have like a big roast dinner. When I say big, it's only the three of us. So a whole roast chicken in the oven, um, roast potatoes, you know, roast vegetables rice you know the whole works coleslaw all of that so, so that's what i've got down for sunday that's my meal plan and this just goes on my fridge it's actually a magnet it's absolutely amazing i got this from amazon i've actually got an amazon haul coming up where i feature this product here but i would actually link it in the description box below as well if you guys want to go ahead and um, have a look at that on amazon yeah, they do quite a few of these which are really handy it just literally just magnets onto my fridge like so and i can do my shopping list now i've actually wiped the shopping list off now because i've just come home with all the shopping and um yeah good to go yeah so that's my meal plan i do tend to stick to the meal plan but sometimes things happen the meal plan gets changed for whatever reason you know sometimes you might not fancy what you've written down on that day yeah, so you know we'll just swap something out yeah as long as you're eating healthy that's the main thing yeah, we tend to have a lot of um, vegetables and salad with our meals yeah, so that meal plan is solely for dinner you know i haven't done for breakfast and lunch that changes from day to day to be fair with you yeah. but that's my meal plan for dinner so i really hope you enjoyed this video guys please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any of my up and coming videos. I really love to have you on board and love to have you as part of my YouTube family and I'm on my way to 3k subscribers so if you have not already subscribed, I know there's quite a few of you that actually watch my videos but haven't actually hit that subscribe button as yet. By hitting the subscribe button, you're helping my channel to grow. You're helping me immensely, like with my confidence and everything, you know, getting behind the camera and filming all this lovely, wonderful content for you. It's not easy guys, but I do enjoy doing it and I wanna continue to enjoy doing it. So by you subscribing, that will give me like a bit more motivation to push myself even further. And please do let me know in the description box below if there's anything that you'd like to see on my channel you know like whether it's a cleaning motivational video some cooking a day in a life anything like that you know please let me know in the description box below i really want to make sure that you guys are happy with the content that's going out you know i appreciate any feedback i appreciate you guys watching i know you know it's not easy out there right now you know everyone's trying to get back into their routine even me myself you know oakley's just gone back to nursery this week and i'm also getting myself back into a routine which 
I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly but surely. So um, I really appreciate you guys watching. So for now, stay safe, keep well, and I shall see you on my next video. Bye.